Hey guys, what is up? It has literally been way too long since I have talked to you guys. Um, I took a random break because honestly, my life is doing that good old thing where it changes so quickly and I just can hardly keep up and the last thing I can do is think about recording a video when I'm like literally scattered all over the place. So I definitely like to give myself that time to recuperate and like understand that my life is changing at all times. It's going to be a constant change for my whole entire life and to not get comfortable with anything because change is in, 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 in Change is just a thing that happens to us all the time. <laughs> I better not have anything in my teeth. Okay, so that's kind of what led me to this video today. Um, how to not attach to anything but connect to everything. And it's such a powerful statement because it's true. Like, you cannot attach yourself to anything in this lifetime. Like, not a house, not a car, not a person not a job, nothing, because you don't know when life is just going to snap you out of that place and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, what the heck, that, what, that, that was me, that was my identity, that was my character, and life is like, no, it's not, <laughs> and then connect to everything because connecting to everything is so different than attaching yourself, connecting is just genuinely feeling the person, the situation, the experience you're connecting to it but you're not attaching yourself to it and it's such a little statement that goes so far and it goes so hand in hand and these past few weeks I've been really 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 studying like past lives karma and all these other weird little topics and through these topics I never thought I would learn so much about living in the now it's so weird because I'm like learning about the past and how it affects you and karma and what it, what it, blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, I'm really understanding like you just have to always live in this moment and just always expect change because it's going to happen. Um, for some reason, we just think life, you find it and then you just go with it the whole time when really there's like so many different turns that life will take you on and you're just like, whoa. But yeah, it's what I've been really learning and studying these past few weeks. And once I started learning my life, like once I start expanding my knowledge and wisdom to these um, topics, it's like my life started mirroring it. It's so crazy. So I'm, I learned about past lives, just a little bit, not too much. And past lives literally fascinate me because... I don't know if you guys have ever met a person where you just you just know that like you've known them before. It's that feeling. I've had that with two people in my lifetime and they probably are the two strongest characters in my life. And it's because I knew not only in this lifetime were they going to be important to me, but in other lifetimes they were important to me as well. And I just have the weirdest feeling when I meet certain people. I'm like, wow, like we've done this thing together before. Like we've done this. And learning about past lives and how truthful that is, I can't get too far into the whole past life topic, but it just really, really made me understand, like, yes. But the thing is, is normally when people find each other again in another lifetime, it means that in that lifetime, they didn't work out what they wanted to work out, so they wanted to try it again in this next lifetime. And... Once you see that a relationship will never go anywhere and it's just always going to be a continuous cycle, you have to learn how to heal it and let it go. And when I read that, I was just so mind boggled because I've always felt that way. Like I've always felt like whenever I leave a person, I don't ever want there to be like any weird feelings. I don't want there to be anything besides like a healing closure and I've tried to have that with so many people, but it's like almost impossible for people sometimes because they want to hold on to like this attachment with me. And it's like, no, we can connect and forever be connected, but we don't have to attach. And I've just never understood that about people because I've always just wanted to leave, you know, just an easy, like just an easy 
path between one another like I never want it to be like a slam door shut or anything crazy like I've always just want to leave it so peacefully and truthfully and healing but it's very impossible with certain people in this lifetime to have it that way that's at least what I'm learning um but through this I have really attached myself to people before and jobs and situations and really took that in as my identity when I never truly realized that that was almost suffocating that person or thing in my life because I constantly thought it was mine. I constantly thought it made me me. And once I literally let that go, there's like the weird, it's like an anchor is released from your soul. You're like, okay. <laughs> like, no one is mine. The only person that is mine is me, my soul. That's the only person I can ever truly count on for not going anywhere. But everyone else, like, enjoy the time you have with them because you don't know what's right around the corner with your guys' stories, with your guys' new endeavors or whatever. And it's absolutely nuts. Like, this past year, I have never taken myself so seriously when it came to wanting to create a life that was my dream life. Like, you know when you're a little girl and you have these huge dreams and you're just like, you start getting older and older and then you start just like kind of settling for a job that will get you by, that will be safe. Like, I started going down that road at 19 because I just had so many people in my ear like, you start doing this and you start doing this and you start doing that. And in my soul, I knew I wasn't supposed to. I knew I was supposed to keep myself open to life and I was supposed to continue to learn about life and not get scared of the future because the future is the future. Like, the universe will take care of you no matter what. Like, as long as you are doing good, the universe will forever like just take care of you and I've had this wisdom since I was a little girl but the rest of the world doesn't have this wisdom they constantly are scared for whatever reason they're scared of but for some reason I've just never truly been scared of life like that I've just been able to understand that life will literally take care of you and I think it's because at such a young age going through such intense traumas you learn that they pass and you learn that there are brighter days after so once you've kind of walked through hell, it's not as scary, like, once you kind of know what to expect. <laughs> and I guess that's just, like, been my mentality. I'm just like, yeah, well, life will just happen. You, you can't predict anything. Um, and I was definitely settling for a life that I knew would never, ever, 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 ever fill my soul. But, like, I just gave it a try to know that, like, I attempted to make people around me happy. And this past year, I just really took the time to be like, okay, Marissa, like this is the time that you're going to figure out yourself and figure out your dreams and go after them completely and fully and stop attaching yourself to people and things and just literally live in the moment, in the now, and try your best every single day. And I can't share with you guys what is going on in my life, but... Just know that it is pretty big. It's honestly insane that my life is actually turning into my dreams. And my dreams are my reality. Because I have literally written that down in my journal for God knows how long, you guys. Like, Sometimes I think that I just started this mental health journey and I'm a newbie. But then I'm like, no, we've been doing this for really almost three years now I have been working on myself working on manifesting working on all these things I've just been so quiet about it and now that I'm more open about it, I guess that's the timeline I've put on like how much I've been working on myself I'm like wait a second no so it makes sense as to like why everything is falling the way it's falling because in these past two weeks the fog has cleared and I am finally able to start seeing the bigger picture. I'm starting to see why every little thing happened the way it happened because it lead it's leading me to this point. And it's such a crazy freaking feeling, you guys. Like, 
I've just been like stopped in my tracks by surprise because the universe was like, hello, here it is, like here's what you've been asking for. And I'm just like, no way, like, no way, it's crazy. But it's just, it's just even more, like I've always believed in this, but this is just incredible, you know? Life is so incredible when you work with it and when you just go with the flow. And I think my mantra, my mantra being attached to nothing, a connect to everything is what got me to this point because when people started wanting to walk out of the door of my life, I literally just held it open for them. I was like, if you want to go, please go. Like there are other things there are other people and souls in this lifetime that would be much more willing to fill your space than you at this point. So please, like, go find, you know, another path that you want to go down. And I'm just a person that has never let... I've, I've just always been a person that has never let, liked to let go of people. So that was such a huge moment for me and, like, my progress because... So many things that have happened in these past two weeks would probably send me over the roof, like, over the roof. And they've gotten me just a little bit, but nothing compared to where I was two, three years ago, a year ago. Like, it's just so phenomenal, like, how amazing your mind gets the more and more you take this seriously. And... I'm just such a blessed individual to be given the blessings I've been given and the people in my life that understand my vision, that understand why I do what I do because sometimes it is really confusing and at other times it's very clear. It's just a typical 23-year-old girl trying to figure out her life <laughs> and that is very difficult, especially when... I am like, I call my, I consider myself an artist because I'm just very artistic. I don't have like one specific thing, like I'm not a painter, I'm not a drawer. I'm just very creative and I feel like creativeness and artist go like, like literally equally and no matter what it is, like I will create something completely different and something so beautiful than anything I've been seen or given. I just, I'm always in my own mind, my own little place that um, not a lot of people go to. But I've also gotten to the place where I realized that your authenticness will take you so much further than anything else. And like the moment you're real with yourself and the moment you actually just act like yourself, that's when the universe sees and hears you the most. Like once I just stop trying to be so many different things that weren't genuinely me and just like became back to a little crystal child that meditated on top of a mountain that only rode horses that is in her little room reading books like that is the real me and that is the person that has been so much more accepted into like this place rather than the girl that was a personal trainer that had a healthy, beautiful relationship that had all her crap together, blah, 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 blah. Like, uh, I dropped that person and I was like, no, like, I do not want to be you. And I just became like the person I've known I'm always meant to be. And the universe was like, yes, like, this is, this is you. And my soul is like screaming with joy. Like, finally, you just followed yourself. Finally, you just let everything go and just became yourself. Like, just truly be yourself. Like, I know that sounds so cheesy and cliche, but, like, being yourself, meaning being the person that you're pretty embarrassed to show other people, not, like, being yourself, thinking that this is what people want to see. Like, just be exactly who you would be if no one else was here on this earth. Like, literally, if no one else was here to judge you or see you or care about you, like, that's who you're meant to be. Like, follow those things that make you so happy. And I did, and I am, and this is when literally I feel like miracles, literally miracles are going on all around me, and I'm just like, okay, 
am I in the matrix? <laughs> Just kidding. This is reality. This is reality. So, I just really wanted to chime in with you guys really quickly to let you guys know where I have been, what I've been up to, and just some new realizations because life is literally what you make it. Literally. And meaning what I have, my epiphany moment was, or right now I just had it in my little head, was The key is to always breathe deep and always hear your heart. And when you're able to do those two things, you're in the now because you're actually paying attention to what your body and your and what you're doing rather than what's in your head. Because your mind is a beautiful place, but it's a very dangerous place. And in very scary situations where your life is changing, it's very hard to hear your heart and breathe deeply. It's actually impossible. <laughs> so when I found myself in those moments listening to my heart and breathing deeply and not thinking, I was like, we're on the next dimension. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I'm not even kidding. Like, I live in such a different reality than I feel like so many other people do. And it's because I've worked so freaking hard. Like, I've worked so freaking hard. And there's so many things I can say to you guys that probably creep you guys out. But I'll get into that more deeply later. But literally, life is a freaking dream. And just don't forget, attach to nothing, connect to everything. Literally, do not attach yourself to one thing in this lifetime. Even the shirt on your back right now. Do not even consider it yours. It's the universe's. It's like none of this is yours. And once you realize that, it's just a game after that. Literally just a game. And I'm telling you, right there's one of the secret little messages in this game. Do not attach yourself to anything. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope I didn't bore you guys to death. Um, I have so many videos. I literally have so many videos to edit for you guys and pose. I've just been so far into taking care of myself. That's okay. Like literally just making sure I meditated every day. Just making sure I wrote down my dreams every day. Just making sure I read out my affirmations every day. Just making sure I read every day. Just making sure I work out and eat healthy every single day. Just make sure that I spend time with friends and loved ones every single day. Make sure I laugh every single day. Like, make sure I'm dancing every single day. Making sure I am proud of the person I'm looking at and talking to her with the best positive words I could ever think of. Just making sure every single night I am peaceful. Like, that is my main priority right now. Um, not stressing myself out about videos <laughs> because this mental health is going to a next level and literally all it is is that little epiphany moment or moments I've been having because I read a lot of books and listen to a lot of podcasts and meditate every day <laughs> and I hate that people think okay don't get me wrong people that are meditating and taking their mental health seriously are going through some stuff but like that's how you become a greater version of yourself so don't judge it like accept it ask for it like these are the times that you learn so much about yourself it's cheesy i know but like i feel like i'm i'm actually escaping like I was at a rock bottom and I'm literally climbing the ladder out of it. But like, it's leading me out to a completely different world. It's not going to be the same world. That's the best part about rock bottoms. Is you get to come out to a whole new world and like, I see it. It's beautiful. It's insane. It's a dream life. And it's because I went to rock bottom. It's because I went there and like, had to look at my own shit. It's because I had to go out there and stop blaming the world and just accept life as it is and 
to just literally not think about other people ever besides myself and loved ones and friends and only sending them loving energy and kindness. Like, it's because I literally had to change everything about myself. But it's literally the best decision I made. <laughs> and again, sorry for going off on a little tangent. Notorious for it, as you guys would know. So, I'm going to be back. I just needed a little second to take a break. But I love you guys all so dearly. And I truly hope you guys that have been following along with this journey understand that this is such a monumental moment for my life. And if you guys could remember me right here, right now, just know... My life is about to get crazy. And I was here at one point. And you guys fought along with me and I will never forget it. And my phone just dings. So that must mean I need to get ready to get out of here. I will see you guys very, very, very shortly. And again, thank you so, 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 so much for watching one of my videos. I literally have no idea what I would do without you guys because you guys are like no other social platform. Dude, stop! Ariana, if you're watching, your dog barks more than any other bark I've ever met in my life. And they're crazy. Running back and forth playing. I'm happy they have each other. Um, all right. Peace out, Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. I will see you all on the flip side.